good evening all. Yeah, it's another session on a white light. And, uh, why do I keep coming down here? Well, it's 10 minutes, 10 minutes walk from my house. And uh, why not? I uh, grabbed some bait from Daniel Crumps, Holton Road Angling. Uh, some crab, squid and sand eel. Got myself down here. Um, it's going to be 12 o'clock high tide tonight. So we're going to be fishing some of the daylight and then it's going to start getting dark around 10, 11 o'clock I think. So um, yeah, come down here. I had a successful session last time, two ounces, but I was only using crab. So this time I brought a bit of sand eel and squid and a bit of crab. So hopefully mix it up a bit. Might get some rays and hounds this time. But um, yeah, we come down here and um, what the hell, let's have a go. Yeah, so I saw it on Facebook yesterday and someone put a video up of like thousands of seagulls and they were all dive bombing into the water just off Jackson's Bay and um, they're out there again now absolutely hundreds of them so uh, I don't know what's coming up the channel at the moment could be um, some white bait could even be some mackerel chasing the white bait there's absolutely hundreds and hundreds of seagulls out there at the moment so um, hopefully that's a good thing to come for Barry Hopefully the fishing will pick up a bit more. We'll get a bit more, a couple more species running up the channel. Some larger species maybe. And um, yeah, that's one of the main reasons I came down tonight is I seen on Facebook um, all these seagulls dive bombing in the water and I just want to come down, chuck a few baits out, um, see what it's all about. They're around five, 600 meters out. So um, I don't think I'm anywhere near the actual white bait or mackerel or whatever they could be. But um, it's interesting. Maybe uh, some of these white bait will sink to the bottom, wash closer to the shore, and uh, the rays might start feeding off them off the bottom, maybe. But um, yeah, bit of action out there at the moment. We can work. And um, I thought I'd come fishing today also because it's, there's some thunderstorms coming in Saturday and Sunday, so I think this might might be the only chance I get to go out and have a, you know, enjoy the rest of the weather. It's uh, quite warm tonight. It's a howling wind, you can't really uh, feel it here because the wind's literally hitting the fence and it's um, quite sheltered by here. You go 50 yards that way and it's blowing a gale. It's like 15 mile an hour gusting up to 20 odd mile an hour. So uh, it's a bit of a crosswind here today, but it's quite comfortable here on the crosswind because, like I say, you've got, you've got the fence there. As long as you can get tucked up by the fence, you get your tips nice and low so the wind doesn't affect them. And the only thing you've got to worry about is the bow of the line. And it goes way up. It's, at the moment, it, the, the bow of the line's going way over to the right because of the wind. But uh, that's the only thing I've got to worry about at the moment. Um, I am fishing a match on Sunday if it goes ahead. I know there's a wall in a thunderstorm, so we just have to see how that uh, progresses. But um, at the moment, yeah, it's on. Um, the limits uh, nap to Aberfoyle West, I think. So um, that could be an interesting one. It's gonna be um, heaviest fish. And it's, um, yeah, heaviest fish. So I'm, I'm probably gonna be going to West Aberfoyle, pick up a smooth round. That's probably, uh, best bet again a sizable fish other than that if someone gets a lucky conger eel good 15 pounder or something like that that could win it but yeah it should be a good day um, I think there's some southwesterlies coming in by Sunday so that could change things up a bit down west um, might get a bit of an headwind or a side wind coming from right to left but um, yeah at the moment that's my plan I'm going to be going to um, West Abba before I think get on a smooth round get some crab Get some rotten bottoms, get some rotten bottoms made up, and um, get on it. Uh, hopefully, I'll do a video as well. So uh, something I want to do is um, keep doing videos for the Halton Road uh, Mangling Club, just to give um, people who want to join just sort of an insight to um, what club fish uh, match fishing is all about. It's not sort of match; it's more of a club. It's more getting to. The reason I go is to meet people who I don't see all the time, some of the older fishermen and um, you know if you're a new angler and you, one of the best things you can do is start going to these matches because you get to meet so many people 
um, who've got vast experience in, in sea angling, especially match fishing, and, um, and you get specimen fish, specimen fishermen going, and um, have a little chat with them, and you know, they'll they'll put you onto a mark and tell you where's fishing at the moment, things like that, and that's invaluable to uh, to someone who's new to fishing, where you can um, sort of get that information of people firsthand, and um, yeah, the more you turn up the more information you get and um, inevitably the, the better you'll get at angling like rig making um, what baits to use how big a bait to use um, you'll see people casting and just watching people casting will help you learn how to cast as well so um, yeah definitely worth um, joining the club if you're gonna um, start up fishing or yeah, sort of been fishing for a few years and you want to up your level up your game yeah come and join them um, hope and old angling i'll be there myself as well you know should be a sort of a familiar face to anyone who's new and um yeah we'll get you going get you started but anyway i'm gonna keep an eye on my rods i'm just wait, listening in on the ratchet at the moment just in case something big it's it but uh, yeah i'm gonna have a look at my rods now and um hopefully when i switch the camera on next there'll be a fish to look at Cheers. Well, me with Matt Ed, and he's just turned up, just casted out. Wind blew his fucking rod over, and he's into an own first cast. Yeah? Feels alright. Get down here, now. Yeah? Must be in the zone, mate. Early in the tide as well, there's some fish already. You're joking! Oh, oh he's just come off the hook now. Gutted. Oh, what? You using a dongle? You using a dongle? Yeah. Ah, there we are. That's how, that's how good the dongles are, look. I've never used a dongle and I don't think I ever will. Yeah, I would have lost that if it was on a panel. But hey, that's the way it goes. Keep trying. Well, here he is. Try and keep him on this time. Just had a run on the ratchet. Second pass from that. Seems to be hitting a nice little spot at the moment. Right as well. Yeah, nice little ratchet. Is he definitely on? I don't know which one looks like. <laughs> right, let's get down there. Walking up. Here we are. Nice little smooth on put there. Just gotta man him up here, no. Um, right, here we go. Okay. 
to you, Goldberg. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah, nice little smooth on me. Second cast, dropped one and landed one. Yeah. Might be turning into a good night journal. Might be loads of them out there that size. During the tea bar, we get them out by your hand, did it? I might need a tea bar, I might go in a box with me and put left hand side of the box is pliers in me. It's white wet, I got it. Lights turn into a nice little smooth on there. Doing mate? Happy? Yeah. Cracking happy with that. Where's he going down there? Happy. Glad you came though, mate. Yeah, I'm happy with Got that. Got a bit of footage. One more cast, no? One more cast. <laughs> Cup, couple of hounds and go, is it? <laughs> What's that there? That's a rod for the Nice clumpy for someone. <laughs> uh, what's that? Uranium or iridium. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Nice one, back. I'm happy with that. Right, well, my turn now. You're yeah, greedy. I'm so greedy. So, a lucky win. Well, I was happy that Matt come down and he had his um, smooth hound. Yeah, he, uh, he had uh, one on the first cast, but then lost it. And then um, on the second cast, he managed to land one, so I was happy for him with that. But then he went home, and I continued on through the night. Now um, it's about an hour before twelve o'clock, which is high tide. And um, once that comes, I'm going to go home. So I got about an hour left of fishing. So yeah, really happy to uh, pull out a nice night hound after work. Set me up nice for Sunday on a sesh. So yeah, it was a bit of a scrap because um, he was hooked sideways and um, it's so much different when, you, when you're bring in a fish when they're sideways. I thought it was a lot heavier than this, but um, it looks about six pounds, seven pounds. But um, yeah, it was a hell of a battle. I had the net in one hand, rod in the other hand. I had to high stick it to get it in the net. Um, yeah, but it was really exciting to think. I, I honestly thought it was a bigger fish, but it ended up it was about six, seven pounds. Um, but yeah, happy days. Happy days, literally a couple of minutes after my hounds, I get uh, a nice little tappy tappy on the tip, on the left rod, and a um, nice little female blonde.
can't fault it. Um, it's a bit of tide running from left to right at the minute, and it's. Uh, I think that's what's making the fish feel a bit heavier. I thought this was an heavy, heavier fish, but um, it's about six pounds, something like that. Hey, lovely fish. Well, I got a couple more casts left in me now. Let's hope for a, uh, maybe another round or another blonde, another, another, another species of ray maybe. And um, yeah, it's going well so far for a little night sesh after work. Can't fault it. Happy days. Beautiful fish, the blonde ray, innit? Lovely fish. Look at that, look at that eye. Look at that. That's it. Beautiful fish. Right, let's get you back. I'll do a little release on this, I'll get the... Uh, see if we can uh, show her swimming off. Wow, here we go. Down the rocks once again. She'll swim off in a minute. Right, come on, let's get another cast on. Yeah, so um, that's me packing up now. Um, yeah, I've had four sessions on the white light over the last sort of month. And I've had some good fish every session, to be fair. I've had the first session, I had two fawnies. Then I had a blonde and a nice hound on a bass rod. Then I had another session just on the hounds, and I had two hounds out. I've just had a session now, and I had a hound and a blonde race. So, four out of four, good sessions, some good stamp of fish, and um, yeah, happy days. It's just coming up to about 12 o'clock now, so I'm gonna reel in my last rods in about 10 minutes, and then if there's anything on there, I'll let you know, but um, if not, I'll see you on the match on Sunday. Cheers all. Catch you next time.